Gary Colley. Not much time to think about what's just happened. Over in a flash, I believe it was around the 30 second mark, but talk us through how you're feeling right now. Yeah, feel a great, feeling great, uh, great performance. I seen that, I actually said to my missus last week, this is going to go in the first round, and she said, don't be going out like a madman in the first round, but uh, I seen it, and uh, I seen the shot, after about 15 seconds, he came out wild, obviously, in front of uh, a couple of hundred Irish fans, or maybe a couple of thousand Irish fans, so he felt a bit of pressure. Um, he came out wild and I seen the left hand, landed the left hand and uh, night night, so I'm happy. Perfectly timed shot, wasn't yeah. it? Just talk us through the, the shot that did end it. Uh, straight, lean back straight one two, it was the left hand that landed on the chin. Um, we've been working on it in the gym for the last six to eight months. Um, I believe it's, uh, I always say there's dynamite in my left hand and when I land it clean, it hurts everybody, even in sparring with 16 ounce gloves on. So uh, to land it with eight ounce gloves on, it's going to be night night for anybody. Belmedi was unbeaten, very vocal in the build-up that he was coming to win this fight. What sort of statement do you believe you set out to the lightweight division tonight, Gary? Yeah, I think it was a big statement. Um, I always say every time I, I, I try to go out and make statements and be entertaining and be explosive, and uh, I did just that tonight. I believe there was a few eyes on me from the lightweight division tonight, so uh, yeah, I definitely put out my marker and um, I'm coming for names in 2023. And before you sit back and watch Katie Taylor in action tonight, a few rounds on the pads for you tonight. What, how does it work when you win a fight that quickly? <laughs> yeah, I'll be back in the gym on Monday morning, I suppose, for a bit of sparring. Uh, the guys have two, guys, two gym mates fighting on December 10th, so I'll probably be back. I took no damage tonight, so I'll be back probably late next week for uh, to do a couple of rounds with the lads. But no, look, I'll enjoy the night, enjoy a couple of days off, enjoy Katie's win, and uh, hopefully we can get back to Croke Park for a massive night next year. Of course, absolutely. I do. I'm going to come to talk to you about Croke Park just in a second, but... Following the Vasquez win, following tonight, this was obviously your first official fight as a matchroom fighter, and you've certainly put your stamp down. You strike me, Gary, as a type of fighter who isn't interested in easy touches, albeit you made that easy tonight. You know, you want to be in with a big name soon. Yeah, I've always said that, though. I don't want to be kind of hanging around. Um, I want to take step forwards in my, steps forward in my career all the time. Um, Vasquez was a big step forward. I made a statement, and obviously Eddie seeing that and was impressed, saw me, and I wanted to make a big statement to, to show him, prove him right tonight, and I think I did that... Um, and I've always said I want to be, I want the biggest names and the biggest fights. And I believe I'm uh, in the right place with Matchroom and the performances I'm putting in, I'm on the way to do just that. So. And in terms of yourself, Gary, big, tall, array of skills, a southpaw, can obviously punch. You look the part, you talk a great game as well and you back it up. I think Ireland and, and boxing as well have got someone to really get behind and get excited about. Yeah, I believe so. Um, I've always seen, especially over the last couple of years since I turned pro, I've seen myself as Katie's leading leading Irish boxing but especially obviously the women's game and uh, women's boxing but I, I kind of see myself as the male version of Katie now I, I see her as a massive role model and um, I want to follow in her footsteps and when she leaves the game I want to be the next one to, to take the throne should we say. It's really been talked about hasn't it the potential rematch with Amanda Serrano landing at Croke Park next year Katie described that as spine tingling what would it mean to you to be a part yeah, of that? It was mentioned to me actually and it tingled my spine just there when you said it and every time somebody mentions it it kind of it is that spine tingling thing. Um, I've always said that will be magic. It's a, it's real life magic. It will be history for Ireland. My kids will be reading about it in their history books if it happens. So uh, I think Katie deserves it. I think the Irish public deserve it, and uh, I hope we really do get to see it because it will be a massive, massive night for boxing and for Ireland. And in terms of that stage, it would be huge. So likely would mirror a big fight for yourself. Is there any names domestically that you're interested? in? I know you were you were sitting watching uh, Kid Galahad against Maxi Hughes, of course, and half having an eye on that type of guys. Is that is that who you're after? Yeah, well, myself and Maxi was actually made back in 2020, and uh, COVID came around and it, it got cancelled. But Maxi's a great guy and a great fighter. Um, but yes, for business sense, um, I think it makes sense. We're both with Matchroom, he's got the IBO world title. Um, so it's definitely a fight that I'm interested in and a fight I would like for co-main event in Croke Park. Myself and Maxi um, to co-headline Katie and Serrano will be absolutely huge. Great stuff, Gary. I just wonder if you have a final message for all the Irish watching back home and of course all the Irish who are in the arena for you and Katie tonight. Thank you to everybody who came out and supported. Thank you to everybody who bought a ticket. They made some noise in there tonight. Um, it's not full in there yet, but it will be. And uh, thank you to everybody tuned in. And it's just a matter of time before we're back in, in Ireland, either filling Croke Park or filling the Tree Arena. So I'm looking forward to it. And there's some exciting times ahead for Ireland and for boxing. Gary Colley, fantastic performance. Well done to you, mate. We'll see you thank back you soon. Me. Talk, mate.